Good afternoon. My name is David Simpson. I am retired from Hospice of the Western Reserve. I was uh, an employee here from 1985 to 2012. Uh, for the most part in that period, I was the executive director, chief executive officer, and I had a tremendous uh, opportunity uh, in that role to experience a way of connecting what was meaningful and important to me personally to the work that I was asked to do every day. And uh, that uh, sense of connection created a very strong, a very profound uh, sense of purpose and meaning to what I was doing. And also a very great privilege to, in many cases, be exposed to people who were dealing with their crowning phase of life, with their end of life, in such a way that I was invited, as were many of uh, our our folks invited into that time, into that framework, into that intimate uh, area within a family. And uh, it was always curious to me about why we were so welcome, uh, complete strangers. Now I know coming from an organization uh, with a good reputation gives it immediate credibility so the door is open, but nevertheless, people were so very willing to share what was going on with them. Uh, sometimes very lofty things, and sometimes things that were not so lofty, sometimes things that were based on lives of conflict uh, and lives of regret in some cases. Uh, one of my uh, most wonderful experiences was with a woman who technically was not a hospice patient. She was in a hospital bed next to a hospice patient that I was visiting. And I had been forewarned by the staff at the hospital that this woman was confused and was, uh, to some extent, um, uh, I think they felt that she was a bit annoying. And uh, furthermore, I was told that she had been obsessing about her glasses. So I went to visit my patient, armed with that background of the woman who wasn't a patient. and. Um, Sure enough, while I was visiting with our patient, she started to uh, pull on the back of my coat a little bit and uh, uh, get my attention. And she had begun to ask me about her glasses. And after a while, this happened several times, I, I turned toward her and I looked uh, in her little uh, credenza beside the bed and in a locker that was uh, in the wall in the room. And, kind of made up like I was looking for her glasses to hopefully settle her down. And um, it, it didn't really work. And then she started talking about going home. And um, I also was told that she was, she was obsessing about that and that she wouldn't be going home you know, for another several days. So I went back to visit with our patient and she continued to, uh, to uh, talk with me about uh, the glasses and going home. And then I remember, just a week before I'd been at a hospice conference uh, in the late 1980s, uh, and a speaker, uh, author of Final Gifts, was presenting on messages that uh, people in a terminal phase of life sometimes have, and sometimes these messages are defined by uh, us in the healthcare world as confusion. And it, it just sort of uh, dawned on me to sort of explore this. So I turned back to her and I began to engage about this going home. And eventually, uh, I did talk with her rationally, you know, I don't think you're going home today, and so on. But eventually she, um, I, I said, are you, are you thinking about heaven? And she was pretty feeble. But at that point, she sat up in the bed. She kind of shot up, and she reached her hands out to me, and she said, finally, somebody understands. Will you pray with me? And I said yes, and she took my hands, and she held them for a short time, maybe 10 or 15 seconds. And then she settled down. She, was, uh, she didn't actually say any words in this prayer. 
but it was very moving. And then it, it, it was so confirming of uh, the knowledge that I had gained at this conference that I had so quickly forgotten. Uh, and then subsequently, several days later, I was thinking about that, and it occurred to me that what it could have been if I had asked her, instead of looking for these glasses, to, to say, what, what do you want to see? What is it that you want your glasses for? I never figured that out, but um, it's, it's one of those, uh, it's a wonderful experience uh, to have had that sharing, but it was also uh, a wonderful learning opportunity about this, uh, about this time of life. So it's, it's, it's moments like that that, uh, to me, have been the most precious about uh, my, my work, my opportunity uh, to be with Hospice of the Western Reserve.